Well, hello there, and welcome back to Ivy Toby's Let's Play of Gwyneth the Witcher card game called Beta Still. As I've selected my Ivy Toby's deck 2, trying to check if it's any good, because last episode I didn't really find if it was or not. This is episode 23, by the way, as I'm searching for a worthy opponent now. I won the last one, got my dailies, was brilliant. Oh, kick me out. Get back in there. <laughs> And unfortunately, the guy, just before he revealed his last card, but would have won him or lost him the game, he left. And forfeit for some reason. And didn't come up, he lost connection, he just left. So, to me, it was like, you couldn't accept me beating you, so you left. It's like, seriously. And I did a, bit, a huge mistake as well. I sliced his gold card, so it does nothing. Because like I was about to say, when he's about to lose, or I was about to win, if I lost it by three points, it would win because I, I messed up. He had another car, like five or six, I believe. So taking three points off it would have sucking down my three points. Any last words? And of course, I don't get a send a good game from the left, do Oh, both on fives. What's he gone though? Okay, that's good. Don't need you. That's good. Nicker. Er. I already got one of them, so I don't need two of them, do I? Okay, do I have those spiders? Seriously, I'm full of my highest card. Immune. Outside of fog, so I've really got fog, so I don't need you. That's not the best set. I've tried to focus in on my cards when I'm in 25 and 39, so I can use my strategy more, but it doesn't seem to be helping. I've seen other people do that and they've really knocked the strategy out, but mine doesn't seem to help. So there's the look part of the card thing I keep losing. Like, like this is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. Falls. Oh, when it gets me to go first. This is absolutely horrible. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give him the first round. I'm going to use him. Hey, you're up to 11. How's that? Giving him that round to start off with a stronger card. Not much stronger because he's going to start off with a 9. Using his winning cow, but. Ugh. Okay, he's like, what the fudge? He's already passed, what? I think it took him by surprise doing that. Because <laughs> to me, that should have been instant pass on his part, but he's like, what? Actually, he can instantly win. Oh no, he's got a 1 though, and he's got to play with two cards. Okay, now you're tied. And he's... Okay, that was silly. Okay, the guy completely messed up then. Because he's going to say he's unique, to, immune to weather. So that did nothing. So he's playing more cards. This is actually, this is actually good. Woohoo! Got, got some luck for once. Because <laughs> like I said, if, if next round it's a nine. But this round's a one. So if he wants to win this round, if he passes, he gives it to me. Oh, he's got to play more cards. And he just messed up his Frost card. But I've got one for next round anyway. But well, he just wasted that card. He's like, oh, what, what do I do? What do I do? If he gives me this round on that card, that'd be amazing because I'll start next round with 11. Advantage. Oh, he played his to tie it. Hopefully, he, he, he randomly gets his one card. His cow. That'd be amazing at this point. Please give him the cow. If not, he's going to start off ahead of me now. But he's down by a, a card. This is me. Okay, I get that. Ah. So, he, yeah. So he's got the advantage this round, but he's two cards behind because he messes Frost up. And I can instantly Frost him and bring that thing straight down. I won't affect that, but I can get him back down to a 1. Uh, and like a Fog, but obviously it'd probably bring his out too. Depends who's got the most, so it's a bit of a gamble. So one free base copies of breedable units on your side. Okay, you're breedable, so I'll probably play you. Oh, actually, you too. Hmm. Oh, you're a breedable one. Banish random gold units. Nothing's really been banished. Could take them down a lot now. I'm going to frost that. Because as long as I don't go in the front row, or if I do, I only use you. Maybe we should just wait to do it later on just in case. Um. Because I can save him for after. And use a spawn thing, that'd be good if I can get past this round. So. Okay, let's see how many he's got. This is me. 
Eco. Ah, oh, I was hoping I had an extra one or two to him. I really was hoping I had an extra one or two to him then. But I can easily take his out with my slasher thing. Hopefully he puts some more in that thing for me. Oh. He's like, ha ha, gotcha. I'm going to hold off on mine though. See if you got some more. I want to save you for the next round. Turn if possible, banish random gold. Your graveyard is all f uh, free. I don't really have many in the graveyard yet, do I? Actually, it might be worth it. Uh, no, I need you for next round. I don't want to use Blizzard this round. Um, I might have to, though. I I I'm going to try to hold Blizzard off this round, because he's more likely won't have two. That's my gamble here, thinking he doesn't have two. If I can win this round out using Blizzard, next round I can use this to, to take the bot back. He's like, got you right where I want you now, hasn't he? I could slice most of them off. I'm gonna hold off. Hopefully, he puts more on that rat, that, that, more in that row. So I'm gonna go all out with this. More like he's got this, but <clears throat> that's I'll save you because you you can take the blizzard. <coughs> I do want to play the the breedable one. Where's the breedable guy? It's this. I kind of want that for that round. I kind of want to save that, that, and that. I might use this this round, and, uh, and use you this round, or, or non-Blizzard guys out this round if I can. And I've got my Slash, what I can use this round or next round depending. Nice. I need to keep a breedable, you're breedable so that should be fine. And if he has another Slash on me. That guy growing each round ain't helping now. Hopefully my... Let's take him off guard. I'm hoping this plan's going to work. It just depends what he does this round. Doesn't it? Because obviously if he, he wins this round, it's over. I want you to get to put my plan to action. I'm basically playing off the fact that he uses Blizzard early and I believe he, he won't have two. I'm hoping he won't have two and I can use to my advantage. That's what I'm trying to do here. But I've got to win this round for that to come to effect. What's that? Destroy a non-gold unit on your side and absorb its strength. Okay. This ain't looking good. Banish a random gold unit on either side. Hopefully something strong. Eight. Good, 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 good. That's good. They gain it when they gain strength. So I want to save him for next round, and I want to save him ideally. So I'm going to play this and this. Well, at the moment, Blizz is going to affect me more than him at this stage, so it's pointless playing it. <clears throat> I need it for next round. Ooh, that makes Slicey a little better. Um, for two turns of possible banish a random non-gold. Your graveyard and absorb strength. I kind of want to play one more thing here. To get him something else out. So if I double now. Oh, it only has four now. It doesn't double. Sugar. That's not as good. It's not as powerful it used to be. The only one who's going to go on here is him. Okay, I'm going to do it. Ah, 54. Fudge. I thought it was going to be enough. Sugar, I'm going to play him. Well, I do have my slicer. I do have my slicer. Trouble is, I've got to make sure I'm ahead of him and, and he has to pass. Because if, if it's the way round. Okay, that's good, that's good. Because that's, that's more for me to slice. It's more for me to slice, that's good. Um, I'm going to have to play him, aren't I? I don't want to play him yet. Ah, uh, go for it. Oh, Didn't want to play him this round. Okay, he's adding more stats. Every one he has that makes it better for my slicer to take him down. He's got two cards left. 
Do I play it now? I think so. Do this. Hopefully this is smart. 55, 56. As long as you play anything else in that round. He didn't. Good. Oh, fudge. I want to save that. Mm. Cause you bet it's gonna be something that's gonna t take this, isn't it? Once he plays this, I've got the round. As long as he doesn't have something ridiculous like a blizzard or a slicer. He's rallying. Random five. Oh come on! 64! Seriously! Oh, he's gonna knock me down or something. Fudge. Mmm! Son of a beeper! I didn't want to play that! He's like, I've got you. anything breathable. I'm gonna have to play it now because there's a chance I won't get that again so. Oh yeah! <laughs> wow. Whoa that was close. Okay this good thing is to get the blizzard card so long as he puts his stuff at the front Fingers crossed. Oh, I got a five or a four. That sucks. Oh, yeah, because mine's a front guy. What's his last card? Please make him move. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, ten. Ten is great. Please let him go first. It's not. So I'm going to. Probably going to have a slicer. What's he going to go with? He just passed on that. Oh, you need to use it. So I lo you lose. You send one. I lose two. Yes. Woo. Nice. So yeah, him using that blizzard early definitely messed him up because my whole role in the second round was the blizzard. Was, uh, basically, half of them could have been knocked down by uh, one, and he would have won that. So him doing that huge mistake early on cost him the whole game. And for once, I actually had luck on my side. <laughs> I don't believe it. Can I get six? Yes. Ooh. I got a card for it. Nice. Okay, do I have enough to buy cards and then episode with some buying some cards? Let's find out. Cards, collection, deck builder. Nope. Chop. I think it's this stuff it uses, doesn't it? Twenty cards. Hundred. I can buy one. Kinds. Come on, let's hope play something good. I want all monster cards. Goodness. Unique monsters. Or I will happily take the two witches. I'll happily take the two witches uh, that Lancer brings out. Or I'll take some monsters that I already own, as in readable ones. You know, like the the horse riding one or the spiders. That'd be fine. Something that's going to add to my deck. Right. Oh, yeah. Two? Okay, it's fine. Let's see what this is first. Uh, adds two base strength to non-gold units. I already have one of them. Try this. Goody. Hmm. Adds two strength to the weakest non-gold. Your side. Not bad. Except self. Ah. ah! Play all actors from deck. Beautiful. So that that's just uh, increasing my spider. Like I asked for. Oh, what's this? Old spirit asleep. Add one strength to all other non-gold units on the row. So non-gold will get one strength whenever there are three or more units on the opposite row at the end of a turn. Transform into old super and awake. Oh, that can be quite interesting, but it's one of them cards you got to play at the right moment. So how do I play it, basically? Whenever there are three or more units on the opposite side, so there's got to be three units on the opposite side, uh, row at, um, the opposite row, oh, so it's got to be whichever row I put it on, at the end of the turn, transform into old. Okay. Whenever there are three or more units on the opposite row. So let's say, because uh, you can put him on any row it looks like, I put him on the sword row. The other guy's got three on the row, the turn ends, there's three on it, he now becomes awakened version, what well, I'm assuming is stronger. 
Neat. I'm too low my deck. Okay, one of these. No, no, there's no gold. I own two of these, one of these, and none of these. That's two strength on gold units. So what's this? Resist uh, any unit on the battlefield to base strength. Res reset, sorry. If gold, convert it to silver or bronze. If that was its original colour. I guess, because I don't have it. Cause none of these are useful for me. The other two won't be added to your collection. Yeah. Okay, so I've got two cards to add. So let me ahoy, just sort my deck ahoy, out. And next time I play friend. again, I should get enough to buy another set. Beautiful. Okay, so before we end the episode, I'll just add this to my current deck. Uh, where is it? Where's my deck? Where's my deck? Where's my deck? Where's my deck? Deck builder. I'll add it to my other deck too, actually. Because it's going to help both decks. Hmm, so I can use that one. Uh, do 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 Oh, I have to pick which row he's on. Uh, it's probably best in this row. Uh, um, come on, where is he? Where's my spider? Okay, where's my new spider I just found? These these guys. Oh. I thought I just got a new one. It didn't all, all add him, did it? Oh, it's one of these ones. Spawns at and whatever a monster unit on your side absorbs strength. So absorbs these when someone absorbs. Okay, I was hoping it was one of these. I guess having one of them wouldn't hurt. What's he on? What's he on? I've lost him again. It's my spiders are wriggly. I had one of these. Okay, interesting. Save and exit. Neat. And I'll just quickly. Boom. Oh, it's the first one stick itself, isn't it? For that one. I'll add that big guy to it too. I can have up to 40, so. I think he might be useful. There we go. So with that, like, and subscribe and that good stuff. And see you next time. This is our job. Bye bye now, people. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye.